Hello YouTube. <laughs> well, as you can see, I have survived. Um, we ended up managing to cut the, the tree down without getting electrocuted. At least it's not done yet, but the, the hard parts have been done. You know, the, these things went all the way up really high, like about 45, 50 feet high, and they were overhanging the power line. And I don't know if you can see here, some of it did get cut and went right over the power line. Matter of fact, it did hit the power line. I, I couldn't help it. I, I tried to trim it as light as possible and hope that it wouldn't hit it, but it ended up hitting it. And you can see here, it actually, the, the, the tree actually fell and was leaning on the power line and it pulled it like two inches. It pulled it down lower. So, but they have these metal cables here, I guess, to help in those kind of situations so that the line doesn't snap. So, and they put flexibility in the line. So the line is longer than it should be. That way, if something hits it, the, the metal will actually help absorb some of the hit. And that's what it did. And um, of course, I was kind of panicking, but my wife calmed me down. <laughs> And we ran down there and I quickly cut off, you know, the branches that were caught and then flipped the thing over. Then that was okay and I felt good, but then there was one that was exceptionally tall. It like, it was this one branch that went way out and was like really, really high up. And I had to cut it using the, um, the pull saw here. And it actually fell again and hit the power line again. But this time not so bad and that's the one that you see down there. I ended up cutting it and... So thankfully, power didn't go out, internet didn't go out, everything's still working. Uh, then the other problem was there was uh, the big tall one here that went directly up high right over this, this roof area. And cutting that was difficult because it was so high up. I, I was on a ladder. I had a ladder on a roof cutting the tree. But even then, you know, it was they're like big and heavy. And when they fall, there was a potential for it to poke through the roof. So I brought up all sorts of extra wood and, you know, the old rafters to lay them across where I thought the tree would fall. Chunks of the, the branches, you know, the, the trunks. So that way it would hit the, the wood and the rafters and spread the weight out. It's like if, if, if you hit in one point, you know, if the tree fell and hit in one point, the weight would all be concentrated on that point and poke through the roof, potentially by um, laying the rafters and extra boards out flat. I made a bunch of flat surfaces for it to hit. Um, we got lucky and it didn't poke any holes. So now it's just a matter of getting rid of these beams. This other one here is huge and weighs, a, I don't know how much it'll weigh a lot cutting it, but I did manage to get the chainsaw back out. Found the chainsaw. I don't know if you guys remember the chainsaw from Dinoy versus Walter's tree. <laughs> it's the same chainsaw it's also the same one I used to build the hut out in the woods now for some reason it's not cutting so well I, I suspect maybe the blades are dull but I'm going to use it I've been using it sort of to cut the bigger trunks area instead of the branches and I'll be cutting these big ones down with it and when it doesn't work I'll go ahead and continue to use this um, this pole saw the hyper tough pole saw <laughs> which Actually works pretty decently, but the problem is these charges. The little battery packs, it, it only lasts about 10 minutes of cutting. 10 minutes of continuous cutting on a, a thick log. Five or 10 minutes. And then it runs out and you gotta recharge it. And it takes like overnight to recharge it. So luckily I have a whole bunch of packs. So, you know, I continually rotate packs. But um, yeah, it doesn't last very long, but it, it has worked and brought down the whole tree, so. Well, most of the tree, so we'll see what happens. Um, go ahead and stay tuned. Uh, post an update once I get this all cleared, but um, with this tree down, I, I might be able to, you know, make the roof nice and rectangular instead of cutting around the edge of the tree here. Because the, the tree came in about four inches over, you know, into the roof area. Now, I did have to cut the rafters short to put the rafters up here. So I'll have to do something to fix that. You know but at least the roof line won't look so bad it'll look rectangular and we won't have to worry about the tree pushing up against the building and tearing up the roof again do you have some concerns about some of the other branches from the other trees hitting the power line my wife wants them all down so 
it may be a future project, but I am exhausted working with this. I'll be I'll be happy to get this tree done so that we can actually see, you know, cover the exposed roof with roofing material. The the wood there. So that way the roof will actually be um weather protected. Right now it's not. So stay tuned.